everybody gonna say I'm hating him and Klesko giving him a war was beautiful but it's like this Muhammad Ali is ill alright he's very ill and to say they're doing this because this is what Ali want to do and and I just think it's nonsense the man is ill he should be at home getting care instead they're shipping him around the world showing him off to the public just so that they can get money off him and increase the value of his name continuously um, Muhammad Ali signed over his name uh, many years ago for fifty million dollars and part of that deal is he has to make appearances when they want him to and basically that's it you know he just gotta sign autographs and stuff like that Muhammad Ali is not in any condition to be signing anything and going places not when he's ill I mean Mike Tyson just done this recently he signed over his name so he no longer own his name someone else does that's why he's been getting put in all these movies and things like this but what happens when he gets older you know they're gonna be pushing Mike Tyson around in a chair come on we got Mike Tyson trying to increase the value of his name and keep it out there you know now you see Tyson doing these silly little spoofs and and running around and the hangover and things like that and doing Broadway shows and it's nice if Mike is enjoying it but I could tell sometimes he don't want to be dealing with it but he gotta do it cause they pay him and listen to this is the Prince Nazim Muhammad you know Naz the Prince this is what happened when he met uh, Muhammad Ali when uh, he, Muhammad Ali went to the UK recently but to be honest I, I, I've really been saddened upon all of this that's, I just don't see why one of the greatest athletes and most colourful ever lived has to get on a plane with Parkinson's disease and fly all over the world for money I think it's absolutely you know, disgraceful. It's terrible. Um, and what can I say? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sat about it. I actually went to Manchester. I was in his hotel suite to see him. Um, I saw him eight, nine years ago when he came in 2000. And I could make conversation with him. He knew who I was. I had a good laugh with him. I've got more pictures with him than my own father. And to be honest, when it came to visiting, visiting him this time, he didn't even know who I was. He was, it was just so sad. I mean, I was sat next to him. He's just a shell of a man that he was. And it's just so sad why a man this ill, you know, has to be shipped about from place to place um, for money. I just think it's, it's, it's terrible and what can I say? I mean, he should, should be at home. He should be in care. He should be looked after. You know, the whole world does not need to see Muhammad Ali um, at, at such his worst point. You know, and that's my statement. And I have this view before I even, you know, even heard of this. But what do you think? You know, I don't feel, I feel like he do. People don't need to see Muhammad Ali ill like this and making all these public appearances when he's not in his right health. What do you think?